Juju Watkins may be the next big thing in women's sports. Her ability and character are unique. No wonder she is gaining a massive following and support. She is breaking the records, and she is setting very high standards. For sure, there has been no such talent to embrace the women's college basketball just as she did. Her first game was just superb. 32 points against Ohio State was enough to set a record for most points by a freshman in the University of Southern California. Even with the likes of Bronny James donning the men's team, she is the main superstar in USC and Pac-12 Conference. She could be having an even greater projection than Caitlin Clark herself, but time will tell. So many of you have been wanting to know what her life story has been like and what her life outside the courts is like. Here is all you need to know about Juju Watkins. Now, here is the first thing many are not aware of. Juju is not really her name. Her full birth names are Judea Skies Watkins. She was born in 15th July, 2005 in Watts, California. Her mother is Sari Watkins and her father is Robert Neal Watkins. Her bloodline has some rich history dating back to the 1950s when Dwight Eisenhower and John Kennedy ruled America. Her grandpa, Ted Watkins, founded the famous WLCAC, Watts Labor Community Action Committee. Now here's where it gets interesting. The Watkins are not California natives. Theodore Watkins, the grandpa, was originally from Mississippi where he was born in 1912. When he was just 12 years old, he was about to be lynched by the white supremacists when he fled to California for refuge. It was here that he got an opportunity to work for Ford Motor Company. Theodore joined various workers' groups majorly of black people. He heard and saw many instances of discrimination, and with the deadly Watts riots of 1965, he was prompted to form the Wilkeck. It was to be a self-help group for the Lowly black workers. In 1981, he was contacted by the Right Honorable, the Baroness Margaret Thatcher, just to give advice on how to cool down the London riots of 1981. It is impressive to know that Juju Watkins has such a rich history of noble bloodline. She has not stooped lower than this, and you can be sure she will be on the highest of the platforms soon. Juju's parents were basketball players themselves, but wanted her to play tennis. They had admired Serena Williams and wanted to have a tennis superstar of their own. When it dawned on them that Juju could not make it in tennis, they had another plan for her, to be a supermodel. She has the looks and the right height for this, but the plans of God for us must surely prevail. It was prearranged by the heavens that she was to be a basketball superstar, and when she got hold of the ball, she never looked back. It became her hobby, her love, her passion, and remedy. Funny enough, she loved the game, but didn't know the game. She did not know the foundation skills and knowledge about basketball. Her first year of playing basketball was full of travels and technical that she was declared unable to play. It was her parents who coached her in their backyard. With three older siblings, Juju was always the quiet one. She was shy even in school, but she was very competitive. Her height and quick thinking on the court ensured her dominance in almost every aspect of the game. Even at home, she became a menace to her siblings at their backyard court. In her school, she began scoring 20 to 30 points on almost every game. Her status as a regular starter and star player in her team was cemented. News about her game began to spread the whole country while in eighth grade. She would later go for a two-season show in Winward School in LA as a 14-year-old freshman. Coming from South LA, she would have long hour drives to and fro just to play basketball. Her parents were now a core pillar in her development as they provided for every support she needed. It was all that she needed to make it in the basketball game. She averaged 21 points and nine rebounds per game in her freshman year. This was enough to lead her team into a regional final and an open division title game in the California Interscholastic Federation Southern section. With this, she was named the Los Angeles Times Player of the Year and later on, Sports Kid of the Year by Sports Illustrated Kids. Watkins improved in her sophomore year as she now averaged 27 points and 12 rebounds per game. Watkins then moved to Sierra Canyon School and the rest of her story is history. 
In her final year of high school, she displayed an extraordinary prowess and soared to remarkable heights. She averaged 27.3 points, 13.8 rebounds, and 3.6 assists per game. Her stellar performances were not just statistics. They propelled Sierra Canyon to triumph in the CIF Southern Section Open Division, clinching the title in a dazzling display of skill. Juju Watkins etched her name in the local sports annals in a final by scoring an astonishing 60 points. This stellar achievement, the second highest in the area's history, unfolded in a superb victory over Notre Dame High School. The scoreboard, a testament to her undeniable talent, reflected not only individual brilliance, but also team success. The senior campaign culminated in a remarkable 31-win record, with Watkins leading Sierra Canyon to the regional final. Acknowledgement rained upon her like confetti as she earned prestigious titles, including the Gatorade National Player of the Year and Naismith Prep Player of the Year. The Los Angeles Times and Los Angeles Daily News repeated their acclaim, crowning her Player of the Year once again. Closer to home, California Gatorade Player of the Year and Ms. Basketball Honors adorned her achievements. A fitting encore on the national stage came in the form of appearances in the McDonald's All-American Game and the Nike Hoop Summit, where she shared MVP honors. International success was not elusive for Watkins either. The 2021 FIBA Under-16 Americas Championship in Mexico witnessed her contributing significantly to the United States gold medal triumph. Averaging 20 points, 5.7 rebounds, 5.2 steals, and 3.7 assists per game, she claimed the tournament MVP title. The following year, at the 2022 FIBA Under-17 World Cup in Hungary, Watkins again stood atop the podium, guiding her team to gold and earning the MVP accolade with averages of 13.1 points, 6.4 rebounds, 2.4 assists, and 2.3 steals per game. ESPN bestowed upon her the distinction of being a five-star recruit and the number one player in the 2023 class. Her commitment to USC, announced on November 15, 2022, marked a significant chapter in her basketball journey, with offers from South Carolina and Stanford left in contemplation. In a groundbreaking move during her junior year, Watkins signed with Clatch Sports Group, making history as the first female athlete represented by the agency. Expanding her horizons, she inked a name, image, and likeness deal with Nike on October 10, 2022, solidifying her presence not just on the court, but also in the realm of endorsements and branding. There is plenty of highlights and entertainment still to come from this young prodigy. Ensure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you do not miss any upcoming updates.